Hey guys, we're going to be looking at another basic UI Unity example and what this is, is we're going to be using a button press or a UI button to be able to move a scene and it lends itself to many different aspects of using buttons and Unities and UIs and it allows you to use an on-click event and you can do anything on this event and the things that will go through will allow you to do this one interaction but it's a basis to do in all the different interactions with buttons that you might want to do. Now, what I've got is I've got a really epic canvas obviously with this button that I'm sure everybody's really jealous of what you can do on your actual hierarchy is you can right click choose UI and create a canvas if you don't have a canvas you can just click to create a button and it will create your canvas and it will have the button inside it all I've done is made this button bigger and increase the size of the text by selecting the text and making it bigger now you can see in the game view that's just what it looks like and obviously it doesn't do anything but if you can imagine we click on our button you can see there's an on click event so this is something that we're going to do and we're going to change scenes levels or something within that manner to do it so what we can do is we can right click in the project panel go create choose c sharp and call this we can call this button manager if we really wanted and we'll open up in Visual Studio. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the two starting methods. And you can see that we're just gonna start fresh. And under here, uh, right at the top, we're just gonna say using Unity Engine dot scene management. And this is just gonna be the collections that we're going to use to access, to be able to move scenes without doing a very long um, statement to say that how we're gonna do it. What we could do is to access um, a non-click event or access a method on the on-click event from the button, we need to create a public method to be able to interact with it or say that when we click this button, we want to do something. So what we can start out by doing is writing public void button move scene, and then we'll add two brackets and then inside this brackets we want to pass a little parameter so we're going to either to move our level we can use an integer to select the level or we can use a string or the name of the level that we're actually going to use so we can say string and level and under here we'll have two curly brackets and we'll say that scene manager dot load scene open brackets and we'll choose level and put semicolon at the end and what this means is this is what the button's going to do it's going to be the public variable that when we click on the button it's going to run this code so it's going to look at the code and it's going to uh, it's going to look for an actual string of level which we're going to specify on the button itself and we can use this parameter and so we can specify it on the button we could in a similar way just write ourselves a variable up here which could be some serialized field private string level just like that and we could pass that level into there instead of having it in the parameter and you wouldn't specify it on the button on click you would specify it in this script so if you had many levels it might be better to do it you know in this script and have many different level strings so you can have uh, level one level two level three as different variables so you control it in one script rather than on each button but it's really dependent on how you want to do it but this is just one example of how you could possibly do it so you can do that and I'll give you the example of how it's actually going to function so we need to make sure it's public so the button can access it now what we can do is we can create an empty game object um, in our scene and you can rename this if you like and what we'll do is we'll add we'll add button manager to that and button manager doesn't do anything like I said if you wanted to and you had your different variables for level one two three four five six seven eight however many you wanted and you could specify them in here that's fine but for the button itself we can go on the button you can see the on click event over here we can click the little plus and we'll say oh, look we're gonna add a new event then what we need to do is we need to add our game object that has our script and you can see that we need to select a function. So what we can do is we can go to our button manager script that we've with us on that object, and we can go down and look for the public variable which we created, which was called button move scene. And as soon as it had a parameter, it's already suggesting that we need to add a string. So you can see here we have a place to put a string. Now what we can do is in our scenes, you can see I already created something called level one. This one here is called just sample scene. So what I could do is I could just type in level one as it's spelled down there and save that. Now all I need to do to create a new scene is go file, 
new scene just like so and you can see in level one it's just nothing's really there it's just a blank scene if i go back to the sample scene click back on my button you can see that i'm going to move to level one now if we try and do that that won't work because we need to go file build settings and make sure that we add um, both scenes to the build settings so that we can move to it so what we can do now is we can press play you can see that this button now we can press the button and we move to the other scene and similarly if you had this scene you could add a button and you could move back to the other scene and you can see that was so so simple to do and it would take you you know 30 seconds if you know what you're doing so hopefully this helps some people out so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers